Hello, my name is Alex, and this week on Amongst the Average, we will be discussing hipsters in three parts. Hello, my name is Alex, and I have insomnia. So every night, I'll be doing the research to answer the questions you ask me, and then I'll present it all to you in a three to four minute video. Enjoy! Part one, what is a hipster? Well, I'm just gonna refer to my laptop for the best definition I could find. As in every genre distinction, hipster is far too vague and broad to have any semblance of essential meaning. Well, how was that for a disappointing definition? As with every subculture, it's almost impossible to find. Can you define hippie? Can you define punk? Can you define emo? But as this video is on hipsters, I have to at least try to define it. So I drew some pictures that are a stereotype of what hipsters are supposed to be. Now, your male hipster starts out with a nice pair of tight pants, plaid shirt, poofy vest, maybe some smoking gloves, and uh, a furry, obnoxious little hat. And uh, don't forget the pencil drawn on mustache. Your female hipster's got your leg warmers, your tights, your uh, really uncomfortably short and high-waisted jean shorts, a nice striped or plaid uh, tight-fitting shirt, usually no bra, uh, and a uh, scarf and some nice plastic rimmed glasses. Yep, that's your, that's your stereotype. But where do they come from? And that's an easier question to answer. Hipsters originated in the early 90s in downtown New York City and have evolved since then. But what defines hipsters is their appearance to the world. Hipsters fetishize authentic styles from the past and reproduce them with a winking, I don't know why that was winking, but a winking sense of irony. And that leads us to part two, why we hate the hipsters. If you Google I love hipsters and then you Google I hate hipsters, you get about seven times as many hits for I hate hipsters. Why do we hate them so much? The answer seems to be a snide, better than thou approach to life that the hipsters seem to emit. Whether or not they actually do or not is up in the air, but that's at least how we perceive them. By wearing the plastic frame glasses and the plaid, they seem to suggest that they're cool enough to pull this look off, but only ironically. And to exacerbate the problem, we perceive hipsters as consuming fallen cultures, which leads to a hatred that hasn't really been seen since hippies. But now on to part three, the part that I think is most important. Despite all the preconceptions I had about hipsters when I started researching this topic, I can't help but defend them. Hipsters are almost universally hated for something that, to be honest, our culture needs. Almost every style that we have today came from some counterculture that at some point in the past was marginalized. You have things like plastic glasses, which almost everyone is familiar with, but most people don't realize came from hipsters and punks and goths. And it was these countercultures that brought plastic frames into the main culture. The best example I could find for this was explained in great detail in a book called The Tipping Point, and it involves a pair of shoes. This style of footwear is called the Hush Puppy, and it was popular in the 60s. But by 1994, only 30,000 pairs of this style of shoe were sold each year, and the brand was about to fold. But then hipsters, who in 1994 were much less mainstream, began wearing these shoes in popular nightclubs. And as a result, fashion designers started featuring them in their collections. And the next year, in 1995, more than 400,000 pairs of this shoe were sold. And by 1996, one and a half million people were wearing this style of shoe. The fact is that hipsters brought this shoe back into fashion. Whether or not you like it or not, it's an incredible phenomenon. What's interesting is that the hipsters, by stealing these fashions that were popular decades ago, they're bringing them back into the culture. And I would argue that's a good thing, because even though they're bringing back the fashion in an ironic sense, they're at least bringing it back, which gives an opportunity for that culture to live on. In conclusion, while I came into this video hating hipsters, as a result of the research I've done, I can't help but thank them for the part that they play in our society. All right, please select one of the four topics on the screen and vote A, B, C, or D in the comments below. And don't forget to suggest anything that you'd like me to research. I'll see you next Friday.